A live broadcast always carries with it the chance of something going horribly wrong, and in these cases, very mysterious creatures were accidentally caught on camera. Hopefully, you'll never find yourself on the wrong side of the lens, just like some of the people on this list. Number 16. This live interview was taken somewhere in South America. Only when the footage was later zoomed in and enhanced were they able to discover something strange in the background. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización del. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización. What looks to be some sort of extraterrestrial creature with arms that are as long as its legs can be seen casually walking towards them. Its motives are unknown, but it does not appear to be alarmed or threatening. If this isn't CGI, then this is certainly a once in a lifetime occurrence captured live. Number 15. A group of forest rangers set up a camera at the Platte River State Fish Hatchery in Michigan to live stream a nest of baby bald eagles mature. They were never intending to accidentally capture a second, much larger creature instead during the live feed. A giant humanoid figure covered in what appears to be black fur prowls around the forest floor below. It doesn't look like any other native forest animal, as it clearly stands upright and swings its arms while walking. Maybe it's a person in a full body suit, or maybe it's an actual Bigfoot. Then again, since numerous other Bigfoot sightings have been reported in the state over the years, it could very well be legit. Number 14. This aerial footage was broadcast live during a period of bad weather in Hebron, Ohio. Take a look at this flooded neighborhood and tell me if you see anything abnormal lurking in the dirty brown water. We are with a uh, film specialist, Carl Parker. So if you want to stay on and uh, have a listen, Carl's been looking at that. Uh, a worm-like creature appears to wind its way around a house shortly before the camera zooms out. While this could be an ordinary piece of driftwood from the way it's moving in the water, I wouldn't be surprised if the floodwaters caused some sort of giant parasite to emerge from the sewers below. Number 13. This soccer match appears to be interrupted by a creature from another dimension. One team is about to go for a penalty kick when a strange white figure literally runs through everyone in the crowd without slowing down. I heard that this kind of effect could be a camera malfunction, but since everyone on the field is standing still, then I don't understand how this kind of glitch can happen. If someone has an explanation for this situation, then please let me know, because this definitely looks like it could be some sort of transparent creature to me. Number 12. This video was streamed live during the 2014 tsunami in Japan. While this man records the rushing waters wash away his neighborhood, he sees what could be a strange creature briefly climb a building and disappear. Watch again in slow motion and tell me if you see the white creature. I personally think that it could just be a wave, but I'm not sure. Look closely and you'll see how the wave suddenly seems to change course in midair and go onto a roof instead. I know that tsunamis have a tremendous amount of force, so maybe this is just what happens when a strong wave hits. On the other hand, the person who recorded this video swears that it was a well-camouflaged creature. I'd like to know if you think he is right. Number 11. This video was streamed live from Telemark, Norway. A YouTuber named Odin's 2 sees a gigantic disturbance in the water, so he pulls over and starts recording. This is what he sees. It starts out as a long and skinny, shimmering mass, but after a while it really starts to take form, especially in the center. 
possibly as the monster rises very close to the surface. Since there are no boats nearby and the water is mostly calm, many people suspect that this is a famous legendary sea serpent named Seljord, which is Norwegian for Selma. It's kind of like Norway's version of the Loch Ness Monster. I guess it could just be fishing nets or a long string of garbage instead, but it's hard to tell for certain. Maybe someone out there with fishing experience can let me know if it looks like any of those things. Number 10. The Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana has been named one of the most haunted places in America. As Vanessa Bolano was doing a news report on ABC, something strange flies past her in the background. Twelve spirits supposedly live here, but the owners say they're all haunted friendly. room in the most haunted house in America. Pretty crazy. Tune in for the full story. On this small white specter moves extremely fast and doesn't appear to be a piece of dust or any kind of light reflection. Beyond that, I find it an extremely strange coincidence that she happens to be talking about the 12 spirits shortly before this takes place. I guess I could have edited this in for ratings, but given the reputation of this area, I think it could very well be paranormal. Number 9. A local journalist is covering the wintry weather in Springfield, Massachusetts when a much more interesting story pops up behind her. 6.15 to 6.30, it has not let up at all. It is coming down pretty steadily here in Springfield. You can the creature looks slow and powerful as it lumbers towards them. Bad weather or not, I find it hard to believe that a monster would just walk around a busy town without some sort of immediate police response. It doesn't look like computer-generated effects, so this was likely just a person in a costume. Number 8. A YouTuber named Jay Katera lives outside of an Air Force base somewhere in the southeast Michigan. He has been seeing some strange things in the sky lately, so he decides to point his security camera straight up in live stream. Not too long after, he captures this strange sighting. Jay Katera isn't sure if this is an alien UFO, a secret government project, or some sort of paranormal orb, but he is sure that it was scanning the ground as if it was looking for something. Let me know if you have a reasonable explanation for this, or if you have seen anything that looks similar, especially if you live in the same state as the cameraman. Number 7. A YouTuber named Ariette Jane is live streaming a road trip when suddenly an unidentified creature bursts through the traffic, nearly causing a wreck. Here we are, there San Diego is, Freeway Diego. coming up. Boom. We are there. Awesome. Whoa. Dude, what the hell was that? It wasn't. He wasn't on a motorcycle. The speeding object leaves a short trail of fire behind, almost like it has a turbocharger of some sort, yet it's going way too fast to be an ordinary vehicle. My guess is this is computer-generated special effects, but if that is the case, then I don't know how he got the cars to slow down all at once to make this shot look so realistic. Maybe there was traffic ahead or something and he edited this creature in later. Either way, Ariette Jane swears that this video is 100% real, and I'd like to know if you agree with him or not. Number 6. One quiet day in a New Jersey residential neighborhood, a humanoid bear-like creature was spotted rummaging around multiple people's yards. It looks like any other bear except that it walked on two legs like a normal human. It's gone kind of viral. Right, right now, it looks to be real. Hmm. Uh, our, our environmentalists have been able to take a look at several videos and, and they believe this is a legitimate, uh, a legitimate sighting. Got it. Experts have ruled out a person wearing a bear suit, so the only reasonable explanation is that the bear somehow damaged its front paws and had to walk on its hind legs to avoid discomfort. Even if that were so, however, I think that a bear would have a lot of difficulty trying to walk upright for long distances. The supposed bear appears to be able to do it with no problem, so I'm not sure that's the real reason why. Number 5. This live dashcam video was taken somewhere in Russia. It looks like a normal drive when suddenly an enraged creature changes all of that.
So the road splitting open doesn't look like CGI to me, which means it's either real or part of a movie set. This next part, however, looks like it could be CGI. The audio kind of sounds like royalty-free stock sound effects, especially the screaming. I noticed that two people to the side of the road on the left don't seem to run away, but maybe they are just stunned and watching. Number 4. Two friends are live streaming in a San Francisco subway tunnel for no reason in particular when they randomly run across something they were never meant to see. A trail of red leads them around a dumpster where they find a distressed woman who is either a victim of her own madness or else something far more sinister. The woman herself is covered in red as she twists and screams on the subway floor. The two friends are talking about how they can help this poor creature, or if she can even be helped, when suddenly she lets out a shriek and comes flying towards them. It's hard to tell whether she is a possessed creature or just delusional, or simply participating in a very realistic prank. I'm not sure what happened to them next, or if the two friends made it out alive. Number 3. A live broadcast in Detroit, Michigan captures a bouncing creature in the forest background. Hey, Glenda, good afternoon to you. Uh, yeah, this guy had no respect for the judge, obviously, and prosecutors say no respect. I thought that it might be some kind of fox hopping through the grass, but this humanoid creature almost looks like it's running back into the forest, away from sight. Let me know what kind of animal you think this could be, especially if you live in Detroit, and tell me if this is what it looks like when a fox is traveling through tall grass, because that's my best guess. Number 2. This live broadcast captures what appears to be an impossible error on camera. Watch the news anchor on the left and see what happens. Here it is again in slow motion in case you missed it. Everything from a hologram to an alien has been proposed, but I guess it could be some kind of camera malfunction. Maybe someone who knows more about cameras can let me know if this is a technical malfunction or not. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore Chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, I recently created a subreddit where you can submit videos and stories for future lists. It's r slash Chills Narrator and the link is in the description below. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because I upload a new video every Thursday. If English isn't the only language you speak and you're interested in getting a shout out, click more, then add translations. By translating the video, not only will more people be able to watch it, but a link to your channel will be added in the description. Number 1. What looks like a routine traffic stop suddenly becomes extraterrestrial within the blink of an eye. A police officer asks for a license and registration when things take an unexpected turn. The police officer looks normal up to this point, but then he makes a slight moan and hunches over. You can see all that is left is a smoldering pile of ashes. I can't tell if his clothes were disintegrated as he was beamed into a ship, or if he was simply disintegrated by an energy force field. This could be scripted, but the text in the bottom right and the police chatter both seem authentic, so maybe this video is real after all. If anyone understands police code and knows what they are saying in the background radio chatter, then please let me know. Maybe it can help us solve this strange video. Seeing objects move on their own is one of the earlier signs of a serious haunting, at least according to most people who have claimed experiencing ghosts in their home. As you watch this list, be sure to let me know if you have ever had anything move by itself around you. It may be an early sign that you are being haunted.